Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kodash. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach his truth well and that continue to teach his truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. A lot of things are happening. A lot of things are happening. Esau, he's coming down with great wrath. He's doing this, he's doing that. Striking channels, shutting down channels. But for every channel he shuts down, we just create another channel. Okay? Until this stops, until it's completely stopped, we're going to keep going, Lord willing. So we're going to go straight to Amos, Baba Kasha. Okay. Because this is a good sign. What does this show you? Esau is getting upset. Okay, so it's a good sign. When they're tamping, that means you're doing something right. If they're not messing with your channel, because you're not a threat. Okay. And that's why the scripture says, what the world should, if the world hated me, just know it hated you. So you're on the right path. Okay. And they, they, they've also hired agents in this truth. Agents, you know, scumbags that have took a bit of money. Okay. That are under orders of Esau. Okay. But don't worry about them because they're going to be destroyed. Let's go to Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, you have a shy of power, but I will send the famine in the land. And what's that famine? The famine is referring to is drought. A draw of what? Quickly pack that in. Come on. Strong's G, 3042. Lamas. 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 Through the idea of destitution. So what destitute, what of this word? Famine. Hunger. But this is not referring to food. Scarcity. Okay. Because right now what? The scriptures say, um... The harvest is plenty, but the labors are few. So right now, yeah, the harvest is plenty, but the labors are few. And the few labors, the few laborers, the few sincere men are pushing out this truth that are giving you that food, that are feeding you. But it's going to be a time where that food is not going to be available. Okay? In a spiritual sense. So this is Amos 8 and 11. I will send the famine in the land. Not a famine of bread. So not so much of bread. Okay? Food. Okay, not a thirst for water, but a hearing of the words of the Lord Jehovah Shai. So this is going to be a thirst. So like a, this is going to be a, a thirsting for the water, oh, but a, not a thirsting of water. So like your or, or food, the physical, but a hearing of the words of the Lord Jehovah Shai. So this is what time we're approaching. So when you see these things happening, and you brothers that may not be taking this truth serious, this is a warning. We're not going to be here for too long we're not going to be on the highways and byways for too long we're not going to be on youtube for too long because when they cut that that's when you're going to know okay that that's it okay no first for water but a hearing of the words of the lord jahawai i was shy so it's letting you know what family it's going to be these words but you can still see us you can still hear us so guess what we're still available so get this word now and they shall wander from sea to sea. So you're going to have people walk, running about like headless chickens looking for answers. And they're not going to be able to find it. And from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Jehovah Shai. And shall not find it. Because we're not going to be out here. We're not going to be on YouTube. But when, when all this happens, we're not going to, our channels are not going to be no longer there. So this is why we give diligence to make our calling and election sure. And this is why we do what we do, because we want saving. And the elect, the ones who are supposed to hear this, they're going to hear it. Okay. Because the scriptures say in Revelations, bear me just a minute. Revelations 12 and 12. Wherefore rejoice ye heavens. So right now, inwardly we're rejoicing because we know this man is getting pressured. His back's up against the ropes. Okay. Ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe. And woe, means the sh woe is another word for destruction. Calamity. Okay, and that's all that's going to come to Esau. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. 
to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea okay the residents of the earth for the devil would come down unto you so who's when it's speaking about the devil who's it speaking of because you have some men that are so bugged out they say no that's speaking of the spiritual demon satan no it's also speaking about man man upon earth okay if you were to look at any type of nation who would you acquaint the nation of what being a devil the physical manifestation of that esau he's not your friend see christianity has taught you that or oh, esau he's your friend the so-called right and he's not your friend he's the devil and what does devil mean deceiver okay a countermator one who acts on the side of the devil diablos another word for devil is diablos okay so this man is the devil and you have to know your enemy okay you actually need to know who your enemy is so let's quickly type in that word devil strong's g1228 diabolos 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 prone to slander outline prone to slander so that's what the devil's going to do okay this is what he's going to do he's going to slander this truth and he's already been slandering this truth he's going to use a smear campaign say what this what that and he's also going to use what agents he's going to send agents up in these camps to infiltrate to get intel to get inf this is what he's going to do this is what he's been doing okay but get the gates of hell shall not prevail slanderous accusing falsely a cal a, what's it a calumniator a false accuser a slanderer so anybody that does that basically they're of the devil okay metaphor applied to a man who by the opposing the cause of the most high so if you oppose the cause of the most high and these words what does that make you a devil okay and you can acquaint this we're speaking about Esau but you can also acquaint this with our people that side with the devil because what did you have say in John 8 and 44 ye are, ye are of your, ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father you will do so our people there when they hear these words they're like no how could they say that they want to defend their their master Esau okay because they don't have a kingdom mentality okay may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him so you've got to be really really careful of individuals that come around but they don't believe in the Bible or they try to smear this truth why because when all hell breaks loose they're going to be the first ones to say yeah see see it's them it's them why because they're of the devil okay so let's stay on track have a good shot get this word now get this word now okay get this word now let's go to isaiah 55 and 11 all these signs you've got earthquakes you've got volcanoes you've got the tensions in um, armenia okay where they want pa what's it passion passion to, to 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 resign all these different things are happening okay you still got tensions within america you know all throughout the globe okay you still got the uproars over what the um the covid19 measures the restrictions people are getting fed up okay People don't want to be stuck indoors. So let's go to Isaiah 55 and 16. Bear me just I just need to take a breath. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. I was Isaiah 55 and 16. So lucky. Sometimes I feel like I'm moving too fast when I'm reading the scriptures. Let me slow it down. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord Jehovah where he may be found. See Jehovah he wants you to seek him now. He doesn't want you to wait until you're old. Until you've done all this wickedness, then you want to call upon Yahweh Shai. No, no, no. You see, he wants you to call upon him now. So if you're hearing these, these words, if this resonates with your spirit, repent. Cleave unto Yahweh wa Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. So seek the Lord while he may be found. And how is he found? Through his men. Because he uses men. He's not just going to come down himself and appear to you. He's going to use men to guide you okay in that right path call you upon him while he is near so this is the time to call upon your shine now and that shows you how important his name is okay so call upon him while he is near and guess what your shine is near through his men you can see us on the highways and byways you can see us 
on these videos. He can hear us on these videos. So that means he's still near. The doors of mercy are still open. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And then thoughts are what? Your philosophies. Whatever rubbish you were taught in the world. And let him return unto the Lord Yahushua and he will have mercy upon him. If you return, return means to what? To repent and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. So this is about returning unto Yahushua. And if you don't do that, this is what the punishment is going to be. So let's go to Proverbs. Bear me just a minute. Proverbs 1 and... 22 how long were you simple ones where you love simplicity our people they're going to continually want to be simple and scorners delight in their scorn and another word for scorning is mockery they're going to mock when they hear these words because they don't see if someone don't understand it okay and they're evil they're going to end up what mocking scoffing scorning and the scorners delight in their scorning and false hate knowledge because if you hate knowledge that ultimately means you're a fool because knowledge is for what you're better man. So if you hate knowledge, that means you're a fool. Turn you at my reproof. Reproof is what for it's just another word for correction. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. So the Lord does that through his men, through them speaking, and I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and you refused. So our people refuse, they they, they say, get off me. I don't want to hear it. That's what our people are like and have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. So Yahweh he's stretching out his hand through his men. That's that mercy. Okay. It's like you're falling. You're falling off a cliff. You've got someone stretching out their hands and you're saying get away from me. And when you fall off the cliff you can't really get mad because we had our hands out. Here it is you're falling off a cliff. We have our hands out. You grab my hand. Grab my hand. Okay. And you're saying, no, we've got to leave you. We've got to let you be. Okay, but you have set a note at all my counsel. Note, so another word for note is zero. You didn't want to hear it. You wanted to do what you wanted to do. And with none of my reproof, I will also laugh at your calamity. So the men of the Lord, and Lord with them are the men, we're going to laugh at your calamity. Okay, this goes for the other nations. This really is for our people as well. Okay, we're not just going to be laughing at the other nations. It's our own people that we tried to wake up, but they didn't want to hear it. So we're going to be laughing at your calamity. And it's going to come. It's going to come. And I will mock when your fear cometh. So we're going to mock. You know how you're mocking now? We're going to mock. See, this is what you've got to understand. Yeah, we're being laughed at. We're being giggled at. But the tables are going to turn. Okay? When your fear cometh as a desolation. Okay, as a destruction. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Okay, and whirlwind, it comes at what? As a surprise. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. So distress and anguish are going to come upon the wicked of our nation. Then shall they call upon me. And you know, it's just a habit with our people, especially Christians. Okay? All this wickedness. And then when distress comes, that's when they want to call upon God. Oh God. You know? But I will not answer. So Yahweh Shai is not going to answer. He's not going to reply. They shall seek me early. Okay. But they shall not find me. Because we're not going to be here. Does this mean they're going to be trying to find Yahweh Shai? No. It's, it means they're going to be trying to find the words of Yahweh Shai through his men. But they're not going to. So they're going to have to deal with their own shame, their own guilt, their own wickedness. Because they did not want to take heed. Because the Most High, Yahweh Shai, he's hardened the wicked of our people's hearts. And he's the only one that can remove that hardening. Okay. For they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. You know, angry. I don't want to hear that. Who are you to tell me what to do? You're a young man. So they hated knowledge. Who wrote that Bible? They hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They were none of my counsel, what we were saying to them. They despised all my reproof. They didn't want to hear it. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. Okay? And the fruit of their own way is what? They're going to be given what? To their own desire. And be filled with their own devices, their own imaginations, their own wickedness. And that's going to be their downfall. So these things need to happen. 
So Yahabashai could be justified in destroying them. Okay? For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Okay? So in other words, the prosperity of fools, who pushes out the prosperity? Esau. So if you want to join hand in hand with him, guess what? That's going to be your destruction. If you want to defend this man, that's going to be your destruction. But whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely. And that's us as hopeful elect. What we're hearkening unto Yahweh Shai. And they're going to be the ones that dwell safely. And shall be quiet from the fear of evil. So with this lesson, I really hope this was edifying. And to the sincere brothers and sisters that be maybe listening to this lesson. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. If you want to know more about him, subscribe. <laughs> okay, I don't usually say that, but subscribe. If you want to know more about Yahweh Shai, subscribe. Okay, until the next time, shout out to the hopeful elect. Shalom.